So as you can see here, I've got three blocks I've inserted. And I've just done it as blocks just to kind of group the geometry. But what I'd like to do now is kind of a super mega dynamic block that I can actually switch back and forth between the different um, instances. I'm going to start one block and be able to say, well, I want the sofa, the rocking chair, or the office chair. So I'm going to go to my insert tab here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the block editor here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new mega chair block is what I'm after. So I'm going to click OK here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the regular um, insert option here. And I'm going to drop in this, this desk chair here as my starting point. So this is going to be the first instance of the object. So I'm going to, I'm going to drop it in like that. And that's what I want to see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it through parameters and actions. I could do it as a parameter set just to kind of shortcut it, but since this is kind of the first time I'm going through this, I'm going to do it separate steps here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a visibility parameter. And what the visibility parameter does is really just, just set the location of the parameter. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick a point here. I'm actually going to pick 000 here to drop that in. Now if I take a look at this, when I double click on it, it's going to bring up this visibility states. Now before I do that, let's just come in here and let's take a look at the properties on this. Sorry, that kind of went off the screen there, but I just want properties. And just to show there's really not much in here. I mean, I can change the name, right? So um, we'll, we'll call this chair type is what we'll, we'll call that. Um, you know, it, it adjusts the um, type of chair. And um, I can see now that I do want to show the properties and, and one grip is what I want. Well, now what I want to do is I want to come in here and actually assign an action to this as well. So I'm going to go to the action tab here and I can see here that, well, wait a minute, there really is no um, action per se to assign. If I hold my cursor over here, I can see there's only one visibility state defined. So this is one of those, those, those rare ones, this one and the base point that don't really have any actions to go with it. So let's just uh, double click on this. And it's going to put me into the visibility states. So I'm going to rename this, and this is going to be office chair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new state. But what I want here is I actually want to hide all existing objects because the next one that we're going to create here is we're going to create the rocking chair. So I'm going to click OK. And what it's going to do is when I click OK here, now that this is active, is notice that everything is turned off except for that visibility parameter. And notice that my visibility states here have actually become active. So now I can flip back to the office chair. Um, I can flip into the rocking chair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an insert. And I'm going to insert the rocking chair here again at 0, 0 and click OK. So in my case, I'm using 0, 0 as kind of my common reference. So now what I can see is I can come in here and I can say, OK, office chair. And I can see rocking chair. Well, let's do it one more time here. So in my panel, I'm going to select visibility states. I'm going to click new. We're going to call this the sofa. I'm going to hide all existing objects. We'll click OK. Again, we'll click OK. And we can see that it's turned everything off. So again, I'll just do an insert. I'm going to grab my sofa here. I'm going to click OK. And we can see that it's gone through and, and, and built that. So if we go and do a test now, what I'm going to see is by doing a test is that I can select the block. The grip appears. A nice little tooltip because I had a description and I can flip back and forth between the different options there. All right, well, that's good, but we want to make some changes here. So one of the things I'd like to do is I'd like to add a, um, you know, maybe a common shape. So what I'd like to do is kind of add a, a circle here. I'm just going to pick a point here. So I want to add a circle. Now, the problem is right now is that that circle is only available in this sofa state. So if I come back to the rocking chair here, I can see that that circle is not available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the toggle up here in my visibility panel. So in the visibility panel, I'm going to toggle the visibility mode. And now notice that all the objects are available. So they're visible. I can now select them. They're just ghosted because they're not necessarily part of this visibility state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the make visible option because I want that circle to be part of the state. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to pick my office chair. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say make visible. And now what, what I can see here is that that circle is now part of all the states. Now, I obviously didn't have to make it, you know, part of every single state, but I just wanted to show the process that if you add something, then it makes it available to all of them. Well, let's delete this and let's 
kind of to do the same thing. So I want to come in here and I want to add a rotation parameter. So what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to add the ability to take this and basically be able to, to rotate this. So let's make that 270 and let's put the label here. So I've now added this angle or parameter in here and I want to be able to rotate it. Now I'm going to be smart about it because I don't want to have to go through there and do this, that visibility and add my objects. So before I select my objects, I'm going to set the visibility mode so I can see everything. So now when I come in here and I assign my rotation action, when I come to select my objects, I can select all of them. So if I rotate one of them, then if I switch it, I want all of them to be rotated. Otherwise, the ones, the other ones are going to stay um, where they were. So I want to make sure I've selected all of them. So now if we go and test the block now, what we're going to see is that if I take this, um, notice that I can't rotate it. So if I come in here and I, I go to the sofa and I rotate this, oops, I rotate this, I flip the type to rocking chair, notice that has been flipped, but we're still not 100% there. So what, what do I need to do? Well, what I need to do is I need to make sure that this rotate is vi visible in each state. Because remember, I added the rotate after. So if I come to office chair here, what I need to do is I need to make visible, I need to make visible um, that parameter. When I come into the rocking chair, I need to make visible that parameter. So now that the, that's visible, when I come in here and test the block, what I'm able to do now is if I take this, notice I can rotate it in this view and I can still, I can still change the, the type here. I can still come in here and change that type if I could only select that grip. So placing that grip right at that insertion point was a dumb idea. So let's just go in there and let's just um, move that a little bit. So let's just take the grip and let's just move that grip over there a little bit. Whoops, I want to test it, not save it. So again, now I can see that the rotate is available in each mode. I can still switch the type. I can rotate it around, switch the type again, and everything is hunky-dory. So there's going to be times where you're going to have to go back and forth and switch to a state and make visible and switch to a state and make invisible and all those type of things that you're going to have to do in there. Okay, now just to wrap this up, just to finish this block off, what I'd like to do is I'd like to define an attribute. So I'm actually going to be in here and I'm going to define an attribute. So I'm going to define an attribute for type. The problem is going to be type of chair. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to link this. So I'm actually going to link this and I'm going to link this to a um, object. And the block placeholder here I want to I want to I want to link this to is actually the chair type is what I want. So I want to link this to the chair type visibility state. So notice that this block placeholder, this is the key. I don't want to select an object. I want to use the special block attribute value called block placeholder. So let's click OK. Let's click OK. And what I'm going to do is place that in there and scale that up just a little bit. So Let's scale it up like five times just so we can see it. Now I could potentially run into the same issue here because if I come over now and switch into office chair, notice that the attribute disappears. So again, I need to come in here. I'm going to take that type there. I'm going to take, go into my sofa here. I'm going to make it visible in here. And now I can see that that attribute is visible in all the particular states. So let's actually go out here and let's actually save this and let's actually go and try that. So I'm going to insert the mega chair. I'm going to come in here, place my point. We can see the type of chair is automatically set to office chair. Now, if I come in here and I change the type, so I switch to rocking chair, notice it hasn't updated automatically because it's a field. All I need to do is do a regen or a save or a plot and notice how that's updated. So come back in here, do this with my sofa, do a regen, notice how that's updated. Now, if I take this now and I rotate it, I'm actually going to see a small problem, or maybe it's a problem, but I didn't include the attribute of my rotation. So that attribute's not going to change um, with the rotation. So I could obviously go back and add that. Um, but we can see I can rotate it um, now in any state. And if I change the type, then that attribute value is going to update with it as well. So there you have it. There's the kind of the special um, visibility um, ability within dynamic blocks. 
Um, we can have all this different objects and control visibility. Now I did it through blocks. It could have just been geometry, um, but it shows another feature, another important aspect of using dynamic blocks.